really now. The delusional fringe are now calling themselves pro-freedom? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry. They are not pro-freedom at all. They are really pro-delusional. That's what it is. They only believe in batshit conspiracy theories and nothing more. Nothing less. That's it. You heard me. Batshit conspiracy theories. That's what they live their entire lives based on. It's infuriating to even uh, try and reason with these people. And to consider this. I was once stuck into that mindset for a total of six motherfucking years. Yeah, six years of it. Of that bullshit. That paranoid bullshit. Although, it's been 16 years since I made my escape, got the help I needed, and I'm doing better than ever. But still, it doesn't take much to get looped, roped, entrenched and trapped into that mindset and when that happens good luck trying to get out no seriously good luck with that good luck trying to get out of that you know what they also call themselves ironically they call themselves conspiracy nutcases or nuts yeah no i mean really they do they call themselves the same way which is really ironic truthers they also call themselves, uh, woke, awake, awakened, awoke, awokened, whatever, you know, woke, wake, awakened, awake. That's what they also call themselves. And, or woke people, or awake people, or awakened people. Like, seriously, they are all the fucking same. Very small extremist minority fringe that's it that's all there's nothing different about that they are the extremist minority their views are fucking extremists the rationality has gone down the fucking drain that's what the mindset does it removes all or any ounce of ra rationality you once had it's gone let me just clean this camera for a second god it's a lot better trying to figure out what the hell that reflection was. It was a fingerprint. Alright, wherever it's... Yeah, any ounce of rationality they had before they got trapped is gone. Completely fucking utterly gone. And if you want to add to the brutalness of that and how entrenched the mindset is, think about having to look over your shoulder every five seconds or every second. I don't know. I've seen worse than that. Imagine looking over to every three to five seconds just to make sure no agent, shoe, operative, informant, or shape-shifting reptilian, whatever the fuck it is, is not following you. No, seriously. That's just what the mindset is. Imagine suspecting anyone in your friends, family, co-workers, your loved ones, even your own fucking kids, aunts, uncles, cousins. That they could be one of any of those batshit things that they're scared of. No, really. That's how deeply entrenched and how paranoid, stupid thing he's tilting, these people are. I'm glad I sought professional help to get out of that mindset. Okay? I'm very glad. I filmed those rallies until my rig broke down. For a long time, I had enough time to study these people, to reflect on how far I've come to get out of that mindset entirely. And, yeah, for them, nothing's changed. Sorry, I gotta adjust again. I think that's not about a focus. Uh, the only time they're ever gonna get a true and very extremely motherfucking rude awakening call. You know, a really fucking rude awakening and a really... Really hard reality check. Harder than this. Hitting you in the head. Being shot out of a cannon. 
The only time they're gonna get that kind of reality check is when they catch COVID-19, which is actually called SARS and cov 2. Once they catch it, that's when they'll realize, oh shit, this thing was real. These doctors, nurses, I'm not talking about the quack ones. These doctors, nurses, and infectious disease experts and scientists were right. Now, I have run the possibility of dying or sticking with these long haul symptoms for months on end. Yes, months on end. Imagine losing your sense of taste and smell for months on end. Imagine having neurological issues, cardiovascular, or issues with your fucking kidney. Or issues with your lungs. Yeah. I got asthma. I know what that's it. I know what that's like. For anyone that's got asthma, or bronchitis or whatever, you've got one of those attacks where you can barely breathe. Yeah. Imagine living that for months. Yeah, that's a reality. That's a harsh fucking reality check right there. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say. Peace out. Thank you for watching. If you got offended by this, watch something else. I highly recommend it. And that's all I got to say. I'm fully vaccinated. Damn proud of it. I got my vaccination receipt as a downloaded PDF file. So I'm good. And that's the vaccine passport or the immunization record, the yellow card. Same fucking shit. I have it. I'm good. I'm covered. If you don't have yours, get it now. You know, if you already got both vaccinated, if you already got both vaccines, get it from the Ontario or your regional healthcare provider's website. If you're, regardless what province you're in, they have that same thing. You can get it. You know, the COVAX system. You can get it. It's easy. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And don't fucking get involved with the fringe. It is next to impossible to escape. I'm fortunate. You may not.